Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you want to make large scale updates to the data in your access tables based on a specified criteria, you can create update queries to update selected field values based on whether or not the record matches a specified criteria. For example, if you needed to update area codes in a phone number field based on whether or not the phone number contained a specified exchange, you could accomplish that with an update query. Unlike the select queries that we've created so far, when creating update queries, all you need to enter into the QBE grid are the actual fields you wish to update and the fields that are needed for criteria purposes. If you do not want to update all of the records in the selected table when you run an update query, then you must specify criteria by which to update the records. That way, when you run the update query, you will apply the specified updates to only those selected records that match the given criteria. To create an update query, first create a new query in Design View. Then click the Update button that appears in the Query Type button group of the Design tab in the Query Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. When you do this, the layout of the QBE grid will change slightly. You will now see a new row appear in the QBE grid named Update 2. You then add only the fields from the selected table that you need to update and any fields needed for criteria purposes and place those fields only into the QBE grid. After that, enter the value to which you want to update the desired field into the Update 2 row of the QBE grid under the field which you want to update. Next, apply the criteria by which you want to select the records to be updated into the other field or fields as needed. You can then run the query to begin the update. When you run the query, you will see a dialog box appear that tells you how many rows you are about to update. If this number is correct, click the Yes button to continue to update the selected records. If it looks incorrect, you can click No to abandon the update and double check your criteria. Be extremely careful when you make an update to your tables, as they can only be reversed by another update query or by hand. You cannot undo the effects of an update query after it has been run. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.